Welcome to Vibrational Revelations. Today's episode on Shark Tank. We're going to reveal the frequencies and levels of consciousness of eight main billionaires, right? Mm -hmm. Or eight main investors who invest in, who participate, uh, in, participate in and invest mm -hmm. in, in the ideas. So for those of you that have not seen the show, make sure that you go on YouTube and watch a couple of episodes. Now, before we begin, uh, episode 67 was posted yesterday. And the protocols that many of you have emailed me and asked, uh, or emailed us and asked for us to put the protocols up with the links are below the episode. So make sure that you scroll down to, to read the protocols, okay? So this is an important reminder because we've had quite a few emails asking for the protocols. All right, let's begin. First, let's start with, okay, who do we start with? Let's start with Daniel Lubetsky. How many of you have heard of who he is? So let me just quickly read to you what he's done. So he's one of the sharks on the Shark Tank episode. He is a Mexican American billionaire businessman, philanthropist, author, and founder, and executive chairman of a snack company, Kind. Yeah, so Kind Bar. How many of you have heard of the Kind Bar? So that's Daniel Lubetsky. All right, his net worth is $2.2 billion as of 2021. So let's go through his numbers. Leanne says, yes, yum. <laughs> yes, all right. So his overall vibrational frequency is 400. And in today's episode, we're going to introduce something brand new because these are very, very successful people. And we're going to reveal to you the ability, their ability to manifest. So his overall frequency is 400. He incarnated at the frequency of 500 and he was born at the frequency of 200. He views health through the lens of 400, <clears throat> finances through the lens of 400, so reason. Creativity, as I always say, creativity is all about tuning into your creative flow and taking action, right? What inspires you? And for him, it's a frequency of 400, which shows that he has a very creative mind. Relationships he views through the lens of 200, courage, personal growth, 400, philanthropy, 400, Intuition, 400. Clear audience, 100, which is fear. Clear sentience, 500. Clairvoyance, 500. And clear cognizance, 400. He enjoys his role, 84%. He's in his ego, 98%. And out of that, 96% is the inferior ego. He's in the now, 96%. Integrity, 100%, self-awareness, 100%, clarity, 100%, alignment with divine purpose, 100%, alignment with personal purpose, 100%, compassion, 100%, empathy, 100%, energy purity, 100%, and dimension, fifth dimension, he spends 53% of the time in the fifth dimension, that means in his flow. So as you, you're going to see today, there's gonna to be a pattern that's gonna be unfolding, very, very interesting pattern of really successful people. And his ability to manifest is at 100%. All right, Damon John. How many of you have heard of Damon John? Actually, I looked him up today and I said, he has my birthday, February 23rd, mm -hmm. Pisces. There's a couple of Pisces we have here. Uh, in today's show. Uh, so Damon uh, Garfield John is an American businessman, investor, television personality, author, motivational speaker. He is best known as a founder, president, and chief executive officer of FUBU and appears as an investor on the ABC reality television series Shark Tank. His net worth is $350 million. Damon John, D-A, 
Y M O N D John, Damon John. Okay. I would say definitely after we're done, look them up. <clears throat> Hugo is a, that is a clothing, clothing, a clothing brand. brand. Yes, that's how he made his money. Oh. Most of it. Mm. All right. So his overall vibrational frequency is 400. He incarnated at the frequency of 250, born at the frequency of 50. So remarkable, right? He went from 50 into this frequency of 400. Health, he views through the lens of 100. Finances, 500. Creativity, 500. Relationships, 250. Personal growth, 500. Philanthropy, 400. Intuition, 400. Clear audience, 250. Clear sentience, 500. Clairvoyance, 400. And clear cognizance, 250. He enjoys his role, 91%. He's in the ego, 90%. And 91% of that is the inferior ego. In the now, 95%. Integrity, 100%. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 100%. Empathy, 100%. Energy purity, 98%. And he is 67% in the fifth dimension. His ability to manifest is at 100%. So you're seeing a lot of really high numbers, I would say, in integrity, self-awareness, clarity, right? Fully aligned with divine personal purpose. So there's definitely a big pattern emerging. And I think when you're playing <clears throat> at such high levels, it's important to know that you can trust the person you're dealing with, right? Okay, the next person, he's actually one of my favorite people on the show. <laughs> and I was happy to see his numbers. I said, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> his name is Robert Herjavec, H-E-R-J-A-V-E-Z. So if you haven't seen the show, I wonder what you guys will think of him. I know that he was born in Croatia He's a Canadian businessman, investor, television personality. He has founded BRAK system, BRAC system, a Canadian integrator of internet security software and sold it to AT&T in Canada in 2000 for $30.2 million. His net worth is $200 million and he's the founder of her Java group. He leads a company specializing in global cyber security. Yeah, so he's, he's probably my favorite character on the show. His overall vibrational frequency is 500. He incarnated at the frequency of 500 and he was born at the frequency of 100. So again, he was born at 100 and went up all the way to 500, good for him. He views health through the lens of love, 500. Finances through the lens of 500, creativity, 540, which is joy, relationships through the lens of 400 reason, personal growth, 500, philanthropy, 400, intuition, 500. Out of that, clear audience is 310, willingness, clear sentience, 600, clairvoyance, 600, and Claire Cognizance, 400. He enjoys his role, 93%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100% and alignment with personal purpose, 
Can you guys hear us? Somebody just said there was a glitch, some kind of glitch. I just want to make sure you hear the us. Internet connection. Yeah, because our microphone. Okay, yes, I can repeat it. So let's do it again. Okay, so in the ego, 93%, out of that 93% is inferior. In the now, 96%. Integrity, self-awareness, clarity, alignment with divine purpose, personal purpose are all 100%. Compassion and empathy, 100%. Energy purity, 100%. And he's 98% in the fifth dimension. That's the part I was feeling about him. So, and his ability to manifest is 100%. So there's 100% uh, starting at the integrity all the way down to energy purity. And the 98% is in the fifth dimension. So again, you just asked how to spell his last name. It's Robert is the first name. Last name is H-E-R-J-A-V-E-Z. Okay, her job is. So there you go, that's Robert. <clears throat> She's my next favorite one in the show. Uh, so for Robert, ego is 93%. And inferior, 93%. Okay, Lori Greiner, G-R-E-I-N-E-R. Lori Greiner, her net worth is $150 million. She's an American inventor, television personality, entrepreneur. Greiner turned one idea into a million dollar international brand. In all, she created and marketed 800 plus products and she holds 120 patents domestically and internationally. Okay. Her overall vibrational frequency is 400. She incarnated at the frequency of 400. She was born at the frequency of 100. I think there's a pattern between many of them, right? Health, she views through the lens of 400. Finances, 400. Creativity, 540, which is joy. Relationships, 250. Personal growth, 400. Philanthropy, 250, intuition, 250, clear audience, 250, clear sentience, 500, clairvoyance, 250, and clear cognizance, 400. She enjoys her role, 97%. She's in her ego. 97%, and out of that, 98% is the inferior ego. She's in the now, 94%. Integrity, 100%. Self-awareness, 96%. Clarity, 100%. She's aligned with both her divine and personal purpose at 100%. Compassion, and empathy, 100%, energy purity, 100%, and she is 74% in the fifth dimension. Her ability to manifest is at 100%. How about that? Mm -hmm. Could check the ability to spend the money that they make. Next is Kevin, Kevin O'Leary. <clears throat> Kevin O'Leary, known as uh, AKA Mr. Wonderful. I don't know who came up with that title. They, uh, they named him. <laughs> As a joke, I think. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Cast member of the Canadian series uh, Dragons Den. Founder of O'Leary Mortgages, O'Leary Books, O shares investments, O'Leary Ventures, O'Leary Funds Management, 
and O'Leary Fine Wines, co-founded and sold the learning company to Mattel for $4.2 billion. <clears throat> Kevin O'Leary, his overall vibrational frequency is 250 level of neutrality. He incarnated at the frequency of 200 level of courage and was born at the frequency of 100 level of fear. When it comes to health, he views health through fear at 100. Finances, 500. He has a loving relationship with- He talks about it a lot in the show. With uh, the aspect of finances. Yes. Creativity at 400, level of reason, intellect. Relationships, 100, level of fear. Personal growth, 400. Philanthropy, 200, level of courage. Intuition, 400. And within intuition, we have clear audience at 200. Clairsentience, 250. Clairvoyance, 540. And Claircognizance, 540 as well. In the joy, 93%. In the ego, 100%. And 100% of that is the inferior version of the ego. In the now, 96%. Integrity, 100%. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. And alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 93%. Empathy, 87%. Energy purity, 100%, you go froze a little bit. Compassion, 93%, empathy, 87%, energy purity, 100%. And he spends 55% of the time or experiencing life 55% of the time in the fifth dimension. When it comes to his ability to manifest, so 100%, pretty obvious, I think, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> These people are like self-realized, self-actualized. Next is Kendra, Kendra Scott. Kendra Scott, EY Entrepreneur of the Year, 2017 National Award. Breakthrough Award from the Accessories Council Excellence Award. She owns a jewelry. Outstanding Mother of the Year by the Mother's Day Council. Listed by Forbes as one of America's richest self-made women. Texas Business Hall of Fame and Board of Directors Breast Cancer. Mm -hmm. Her overall vibrational frequency, 250, the level of neutrality. <clears throat> she incarnated at the frequency of 250 and was born at the frequency of 100, level of fear. She views health through reason at 400. Finances, 500, level of love. Creativity, 400. Relationships, 175, that is the level of pride. Personal growth, 175. Philanthropy, 175. Intuition, 250. And with an intuition, we have clear audience at 200. Clear sentience, 250. Clairvoyance, 250. And clear cognizance, 400. Indy Joy, 72%. Indy Ego, 100%. And 96% of that is the inferior version of the ego. Indy Now, 71%. Integrity, 92%. 
Self-awareness, 85%. Clarity, 89%. Alignment with divine purpose, 92%. And alignment with personal purpose, 98%. Compassion, 98%. Empathy, 99%. Energy purity, 100%. And when it comes to dimensions, she's experiencing life 28% of the time in the fifth dimension. Her ability to manifest, 100%. Next is Barbara Corcoran. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so, Corcoran, yeah. Barbara Corcoran, <clears throat> yes. She co-founded and sold the Corcoran Group real estate firm for $66 million, founder of the Corcoran Report, public speaker and author, contributor to the Today Show on NBC as well. Her she's overall- in her, like, She's in her 70s. That she is? Yeah, really? she's uh, unstoppable. <laughs> her overall vibrational frequency, 400, level of reason, intellect, she incarnated at the frequency of 400 and was born at the frequency of 250, the level of neutrality. She views health through the lens of neutrality at 250. Finances, 500, as a loving relationship with the aspect of finances. Creativity, 540, that is the level of joy. Relationships, 400, personal growth, 400, philanthropy, 400, intuition, 500. With an intuition, we have clear audience at 400, clear sentience, 500, clairvoyance, 500, and clear cognizance, 540, level of joy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's a uh, pretty uh, valuable weapon for her, right? Mm -hmm. An arsenal, intuition. Mm -hmm. Indie Joy, 97%. So she's definitely uh, having fun playing her role as Barbara. Mm -hmm. Indie Ego, 100%. And out of that, 100% is the inferior version of the ego. In the now, 100%. So she's fully present. Integrity, 100%. Self-awareness, 98%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. In alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 100%. Empathy, 99%. Energy purity, 100%. And when it comes to dimensions, she's experiencing life 59% of the time in the fifth dimension. Her ability to manifest, 100%. Mm -hmm. All these people have, I think we have a lot, all of us, a lot to learn from, right? How present they are and how much they truly embody their frequencies. It's remarkable. I think a lot of spiritual teachers who are teaching how to be in the now and how to be aware have a lot to learn from uh, these business people. They got the formula figured out. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, the famous Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban founded and sold micro solutions to CompuServe for six million. Co-founded and sold broadcast broadcast.com to Yahoo for 5.7 billion. Mm -hmm. Owner of Landmark Theaters, co-founder of AXS TV, owner of Magnolia Pictures, majority owner of Dallas Mavericks, is a basketball team in the US, founder of the Fallen Patriot Fund mm -hmm. as well. 
And his net worth is 4.3 billion. He's ranked 177, number 177 in 2020 in the Forbes 400 list. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mark Cuban. His overall vibration of frequency is 400, level of reason, intellect. He incarnated at the frequency of 400 and was born at the frequency of 100. He views health through the uh, lens of fear at 100. I think it comes up in the show. He often says that his wife makes him eat healthy food exactly. and he wants junk food. <laughs> He hides to eat his burgers. Oh, and, uh, I wonder who it reminds me of. Somebody I do I that with honey sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> when it comes to finances, he's at 500 level of love. Creativity, 400. Many of them have uh, at least 400 on their creativity. I think only one has a 250. I don't know. I don't remember who that is. None of my people, no ones. Let's see who you're listing. Relationships, 250, <laughs> level of neutrality. Personal growth, 400. Philanthropy, 400. Intuition, 250. And with an intuition, we have clear audience at 250. Clear sentience, 100. And that we find this often that is related to the aspect of health, you know, clairsentience mm -hmm. with health. In his case, health of 100 and clairsentience of 100. That, that is a very common mm -hmm. pattern, pattern that I have found. Clairvoyance at 500 and claircognizance at 400. Indie joy, 93%. In the ego, 100%. And 97% of that is the inferior version of the ego. In the now, 89%. Integrity, 100%. I repeat. In the now, 89%. Integrity, 100%. <clears throat> Self-awareness, 97%. Clarity, 99%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. In alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 91%. Empathy, 100%. Energy purity, 98%. And he experiences life 74% of the time in the fifth dimension. His ability to manifest is 100%. Yeah, I just checked. So we didn't have anyone with creativity below 400. It oh, was no. either 400, 500, oh, or 540. Okay. Uh -huh. I have a question for you. For me? If, yeah. If you were to present an idea to Shark Tank, who would be your person of choice to go with? Who you would want your ideas to be picked up by? Well, it's, it's an one-on-one -on -one basis because it depends on the type of idea that you're pitching. Right? I still and, want and only two all, people. They all have a uh, uh, different uh, yeah. fields of expertise. But it has to feel good. good Besides to that, they, they, they might have the funds to support you, but it's still, I would say, if it comes to clothing, you know, or manufacturing, would Damon. Be Damon John, mm -hmm. right? And Daniel as well, I would say. <clears throat> Daniel Lebeski. Right? Uh, if it comes to technology, Mark Cuban, Robert. How do you say? Her Javis. Her Javis. And, uh, and Kevin O'Leary. Technology. Technology. In, in, in education as well. Technology uh, combined with education because Kevin O'Leary sold uh, his business for $4.2 billion, right? Mm. Um, and then when it comes to products, like, you know, Lori, Lori Grainer is the queen of QVC products, I will say. Uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. But well, uh, Barbara Corcoran Barbara is also Corcoran a product. Also is into products and restaurant services. She also has a very creative uh, mind. Portfolio. She's, yeah. she's very good uh, empowering the business people. Kendra Scott, I will say, uh, uh, 
could be clothing and jewelry. I have my favorites. If I were to choose, I have my choice. It's Robert and Lori. Whatever business I present, I only want to deal with those two. I just feel their hearts mm -hmm. so much. But well, I would say I Robert like, will be it for me. I like Mark Cuban. Uh, He's too dry for me. Daniel, I like him. I Daniel, appreciate all of them. <laughs> Daniel and Robert. Yeah. Robert's personal growth, 500. Yeah. Yeah. Laurie, Laurie also has a good personal Laurie personality. Laurie does. Too. I just, I love big the heart. heart, big heart connection. That's important for me. They're all good people. Yeah, very great people. Actually, every one of them is amazing. And they're all in high integrity, mm -hmm. absolute integrity. So, yes, there you go. That's why the show has lasted for so many years. As How well. many years has the show been? Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> least probably 15. Probably. Really? I had no idea about the show until, well, my kids watched it. And I was like, ah, I, I don't care to see it. And then Alejandro's like, you have to watch the show. <sighs> Let's see. Some people are posting. Premiered on August 9th, 2009. Oh, so 11 years. 11 years. Almost 12. 12, yeah. 12. 12. Okay. Uh, Kathy wrote her first choice would be Lori. Mm -hmm. Right? Kind bars guy. Oh, the kind bars yeah, guy. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel Lubisky. He's a yes. great guy. Too. Yes. I like him. Sarah wrote, this is very timely. I've been studying rich people, and this aligns with my studies. The vibrational revelation confirms so much. I love it. Yeah. We thought it was like such a, an important episode because, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of this attacks on people who make, right? Uh, big amounts, big of, money. amounts of money. And I think this was an important study, case study for us to, to examine. So I'm glad, Sarah, that you're finding it also perhaps in astrology, right? <clears throat> Right. Leon says, interesting, they all have high numbers in the inferior ego, but mm -hmm. they have this ability to manifest so much abundance. Isn't mm -hmm. inferior ego not good enough? Totally. And it makes you... Well, also to be if you're a great, failure, uh, driving force. Driving force. And, and just remember that the, the ego is not evil. You know, many uh, spiritual teachers um, say or look at the ego as an evil force, but it's not evil. <laughs> It just really is is a collection of thought, right? Of information. So it all depends how you use it or so what what triggers within you. Mm -hmm. And if uh, and, and and it's linked to your desires too. Well, when you desire something, uh, it's, it's inspires you often, right? And and, and to help you to. Uh, or, or to empower you to continue to create right. could make you a workaholic imagine. we talk about that yeah. too in theory so ego it depends right. on a one-on-one -on -one basis mm -hmm. how, we, how we process it right but it's not evil mm -mm. can you explain how the new category is measured we just measured the ability to manifest we wanted to see how the same way we measured the overall vibration of frequency or in the ego or in the joy in mm -hmm. percentages Right. So perhaps it will be interesting to to see in other cases, but because these people are so successful, we were curious to see what is their secret. And there's many secrets, of course, to to their ability to manifest. And I think it's linked to their integrity, the ability to be totally present, totally aware. We could have added uh, self-confidence mm -hmm. as well. Right. Self-confidence. Mm -hmm. and. Uh and, and uh, self-esteem per se to, to tie it all together. So we can see, uh, which I, I think it has a lot to do with that. You know, in that, that experience brings this self-confidence. If you're self-confident, then also you have a good level of clarity, right? And all the other factors yeah. uh, contribute as well to your decision-making process. And you could see it actually in the show they're so sharp. And I know Pushkara says that it jars her, that, it, that it's titled Shark Tank. I, I also don't like this title, but I actually can see it because they're so, to me, it's they're so sharp and so clear. And it's mm -hmm. their mind just works so, so fast, right? It's mm -hmm. like a, a perfect chess player that just, actually, we watched an interview the other day. Um, I think I've mentioned him before, Patrick Ben David. I love his interviews by the way, and he interviewed uh, Gary Kasparov, 
the number one chess player. Well, he was number one from the former Soviet Union for 21 years. Mm -hmm. And I think what he shared and what we're seeing as a pattern, which we should read him, by the way, I think this will be fascinating. The pattern that is emerging in all these successful people are very similar. And that is your ability to be very clear, very sharp and make your decisions on the spot without having any doubt. So none of these people have doubts. Yeah, their intuition numbers are good too. Mm -hmm. Pair with their experience, their self-confidence, you know, their creativity as well, good numbers on their creativity. Mm -hmm. And and most of them are are, um, very present too. Yes. And they are very loyal to their beliefs, right? To their truth. So really, there's hardly any room for doubt, rather, and, and the, that and that's how that takes practice business. too. You mm-hmm. know, as a craft, as of you, and you have to take the risk of, of just making a decision based on what you feel, how you feel, and just go for it. And you're gonna fall and hit your head against the crown many times, against the wall here and there. But the more you practice it, uh, the easier it gets yes. to recognize what works <clears throat> and what doesn't work, right? I wanted to answer Candice's question. She asked about the correlation or the pattern that we actually have seen uh, between um, clairsentience and health. So oftentimes we see that if there is a lower vibrational frequency in health, it's oftentimes linked to clairsentience. What is clairsentience? Your ability to feel. So sometimes it's also linked to unprocessed emotions of the person has blockages in in the health area mm-hmm. health aspect human design we did reveal i believe it's just I don't 250 think it's 400. It, it was it's either 250. 250 it was 250 it was revealed in one of the previous episodes yes yes human design is 250 that's right thank you leanne for posting that mm-hmm. oh friend says my health and clairsentience is the same thank you yeah mm-hmm. so it's interesting that we we find this it yes, happens often I don't know. I just human design never clicked to me. I didn't yeah. dive in too deep, but it didn't make any sense at did. all. Mm-hmm. And that was way before we started measuring frequencies. Mm-hmm. And then it's like a past system we, that right. can, does not work for people who are evolved. It does not take into consideration your consciousness. So it's definitely extremely limited. Maybe it works for people two fifty and below, but. If you're evolving and shifting, it absolutely doesn't make any sense. Well, if you're curious and you know you wonder how it works and and you dive into it, just just in that that could also help you to catapult you to to expand uh, and have a broader perspective, right? Uh, sort of like a, you you get a couple of pieces and from there you build something bigger. But uh, it is definitely. Uh, somewhat limited i I mean based on that system i'm a projector and i feel like i'm a total manifesting generator because i'm always creating if i feel it i sense it it's happening already it was happening already yesterday so it didn't make any sense for me and a couple of my friends also that we've read so our numbers completely uh made sense after we we read the frequencies of the system there's so many systems out there Ah. Isa says a wonderful spiritual teacher, Michael Rhodes, said that many billionaires have very strong lower three chakras, but not always the upper. That clarifies the focus on manifesting money and possession beyond unity and wealth for all. I found that a very interesting observation. I would say based on today's revelation, their personal growth, which is linked to higher chakras, completely dispute what Michael Rhodes, what you're sharing here, and right? Intuition too. Right? Intuition is extremely high. So I would say compared to majority of humanity, the human collective, these people are very much aligned on all chakras, all seven chakras. And it includes of their dimension. They, they exist mostly in this flow state, which is the fifth dimension. So this absolutely disputes the findings. Again, we didn't do it for every single uh, billionaire, but out of uh, out of many, this is definitely an important finding. Margaret says, I think there is a big difference between the rich who were born into money and the rich who were not. Yes. 
Probably. Very, yeah. yes. Those that were born into money. Yes, it would be interesting to reveal some of those. Uh, you smell like money, and those that were not have to. Well, they have to awaken many aspects within themselves to align to to manifest, right? So it, I think it's... Um, I think it's all relative. Mm, that's true. Depends on, you know, their programming and the personality. The ones who make money on their own have more confidence. I agree with you, Margaret. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That could be true. Mm. Leon says, Daniel's clear audience is 100. Yeah. Does it mean he hears voices but is afraid of it, so ignores it? Yes. So <clears throat> whenever you see, we always say that the numbers for intuition that we reveal are not about how intuitive somebody is, but what filter is applied, and that filter being the frequency and emotion, whether, when that information comes through, right? So in his case, yes. This is an aspect maybe that he wants to stay away from in, so, in some way, right? Because well, maybe not be consciously, but it, unconscious. it was he conditioned himself to mm -hmm. process that information, like, uh, you know, with by activating the filter based on a past experience, right. more than likely from childhood, childhood, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Belladonna says that he was born, Dan Lubetsky was born to a Holocaust survivor. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that could be impacting that. Yes. Mm. No, the ability to manifest is not included in the frequency readings. This is just something that we wanted to test out and see patterns. So for now, this is the only group we've tested. Uh, and we might test it in other ways as well. Interesting that they gener are generally are around 500 for finances. Seems helpful to love money. And we did check fine, uh, money. Mm -hmm. The frequency of Peace. money was 600. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's what we do with it and the emotions we apply to it, right? And the limiting belief systems. Mm -hmm. Yes. We did reveal it in one of the episodes, but yes, there are 600. I love what you shared about money and you equated it to something else. It's what you do with it. What was it that you talked about? When? One of the comments that people think money is evil. Oh, I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. Any tips on how we can love money more? I think uh, first it's uh, maybe seeing what limiting beliefs you have towards money. Right? And then what it means to you. So I would say discard any kind of limiting beliefs related to the money. And then it's about shifting it. Yes. Fear. Mm -hmm. It's about overcoming fear, the fear of loss, the fear of failure. Mm -hmm. Right? Fear of not being good enough. Fear of not having enough. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> fear of not being able to make it again. Or not make it, period. Well, karma, Belladonna says money and karma come into play a lot. No. Well, there's different layers of karma. I don't know, Belladonna, if we did that with you, but, you know, if we do the biofield analysis, you can actually see <clears throat> uh, the breakdown between different levels of karma, right? If you are here to work through soul karma, your soul family karma, uh, ancestral karma, family karma, world karma, right? Nations karma, ethnic karma. And based on that, of course, if it's, let's say, ancestral or family karma, you could be dealing with limiting belief systems because that's what that is. And then it's up to you to, to become aware of what is yours and what you have inherited, right, as a belief system from previous generations so you can let it go.
past lives. It could be linked to past lives karma. That's why I said that it could be soul related karma, right? Yes. All right, any other questions? We're information collectors, right? Mm -hmm. So it's rather that you have collected it, uh, rather that you're carrying information that you have collected from and bringing it from a past life or information they have collected in this lifetime. Either way, look at it as just information. Mm -hmm. But look at it as information that you have collected in this lifetime. Even if you bring it from a past lifetime, you have acquired it as your own. You have, right, uh, collected it uh, to be part of your collection of information. So it, more as of what is happening now, what you're feeling now and what you're experiencing now and how you're processing that information now. Mm -hmm. and, and not necessarily going back to past lives, right? Mm -hmm. And then how you process it now, that is already uh, telling you what your future is going to be like. Yes. A half a second from now. So then just identify what, what signifies resistance and what doesn't. And it's the resistance that we need to release that is tied to those limiting beliefs and it is tied to that information you have collected. That it is uh, uh, maybe slowing down, it's slowing down the process of manifestation. <clears throat> Yes, Margaret says that high creativity is key. Absolutely. But it's also the key is also to recognize your own limitations, your own limiting belief systems. Mm. Oh, this is the garbage truck you're hearing outside. It's not the timer. This is, it wakes us up at like 5.30 in the morning sometimes. It's just unreal. <laughs> so sorry if you're hearing that sound. That's a garbage truck. <laughs> All right. 